In this episode, I talk about cacao beans and chocolate from Indonesia. Welcome to Finding Fine Chocolate. This is Barbie Van Horn, and I am here in my office today with some beans from Indonesia, as well as some bars from Indonesia, made by this company called Maluka. I met the company owners a couple of months ago, and they gave me these bars and these beans to try. Now, the interesting thing about this company is that they don't only import the beans like this, and they also sell these beans to other chocolate makers, and then they also make bean-to-bar chocolate themselves. Now, they're in California, here in the USA, but they're importing all these beans from Indonesia. So in doing this tasting, I separated the beans from the bars, and I tasted the beans first for about a week because I really wanted to get a good idea of the flavor notes that I was tasting in the beans, and I wanted to speculate on how those would translate into the bars. So, question is, what did I taste in the beans? A very mild bean, um, a little tiny bit of acid, almost no astringency, very little bitter, but lots of roast, and the roast comes from the processing. These beans need to be dried mechanically because in Indonesia they don't have weather patterns that will allow them to dry these outside in the sun. So in that drying process, they do pick up a little bit of roast. So I really tasted the roast in the beans. Again, a little bit of acid and some roast. But when you get to the bars, it's a different story. So let's take these one at a time. The 80% or 85% bar has a lot of floral up front, and that's kind of a orange blossom type of floral. I think it comes from the acid in the beans mixed with the vanilla that they're using in the bar that produces that, that nice floral tone up front. And then it goes directly into roasty, almost a coffee-like roastiness. It's a pretty bold roastiness and it finishes with that. All three bars are very, very heavy on the cocoa butter. And so they leave your mouth with that uh, cocoa butter coated feel. Sometimes you could find that in something like a banat bar. Um, but any bars that use that, a lot of that cocoa butter, if you'd like that kind of feel and that, that lingering cocoa butter in your mouth, you're probably going to like these bars. The 70% was much like the 85% in flavor. It had a little bit of floral up front, but then the roastiness came right in behind it. All of it seemed to be muted, though. Um, as my mouth was coated with the cocoa butter, all of that those flavors were much more muted in the 70% than the 85%. The 56% is a completely different story. I would compare this bar to a white chocolate bar because there's really not a whole lot of cacao flavor in this bar. I think it's the cocoa butter and the vanilla um, and the texture and everything that really reminds me of a white chocolate bar rather than a dark chocolate bar. So if you're somebody who likes white chocolate or you're gifting to somebody who really likes white chocolate rather than dark chocolate, this is a great way to go. Even though it's 56%, uh, which is about what a chocolate chip might be, you still don't have that much cacao flavor like you would with a chocolate chip. Now, the other thing about this bar is it does pick up a little bit of the acid that I found in the beans and that turns into kind of a sweet tartness. So you've got a white chocolate, flavor with a little bit of cacao and a little sweet tart kick at the end and still yes very very heavy on that cocoa butter mouth coating type of feel. So that was my review of these three Maluka bars and the Maluka beans. If you know anything about Indonesia or have questions about Indonesia, the processing there, the bars, the beans, anything like that that the chocolate makers can answer for you, please leave those in the comments down below here on the YouTube channel and we'll see if we can get them to answer those for you. Thanks so much. I hope to see you next time.